Hello YouTube. You may remember my older video about the Casio calculator watch, the CA53W, the classic, and now I'd like to take another look at it, two years approximately after I bought it. I bought it in September of 2012, and now, for those of you keeping track at home, it is May 2014. So, in those two years, I've learned all about this watch, how to use it, and how it fares in the long run, and uh... I thought I'd give you an overview and a detailed review of all its features and my recommendations. So first off, as soon as you get the watch, what you're going to want to do is set the time. Now we have two buttons on this watch apart from the obvious front facing ones. We have the mode switcher and the, the set adjust button. Uh, in order to change the time, you have to be in the home mode and press the adjust button. Now you're flashing and the mode button will change whether you change hours, minutes, seconds, uh, year, month, or day. In order to switch from 12 to 24 hour time, you press the plus button. Now you're in 24 hour time and now you're in 12 hour time, as I like to be. When you press the adjust button again, it goes back to normal. One thing that's really nice about the, the calculator watch in particular is that you don't have to scroll through hours min and minutes in order to get to the number you want and if you miss it then you have to go all the way back through again. All you gotta do is type in the hour you want. So I'm just gonna set 525 and that's it. It's much easier to set the time uh, on this watch than it is on any other watch. Okay, now let's go through the other modes that this calculator watch has. Press the mode button once to bring up the calculator mode, press it again to bring up the alarm mode, and press it again to bring up dual time. You can store a second time in this watch, which is pretty nice. You can set it to maybe your hometown and wherever you're traveling to, and a stopwatch. So let's go through these one at a time. The alarm is pretty simple. The only problem is that it goes off and if you don't turn it off, then it turns off by itself in about 20 seconds and that's it. So if you missed your alarm, tough luck. Let's set the alarm, hang on, let me just see what time it is now. Let's set the alarm for 527, okay? So I type in O five uh two seven and I'll change it to PM by using which button is it? Uh the decimal point. Alright, now alarm is on. And that's it. So if you miss your alarm, that's all you get. Any button on the front of the botch, or I'm assuming the mode button as well, will turn off the alarm. And it's also from here that you turn on or off the hourly beep. In order to turn the alarm on or off, all you have to do is press the 4 button. The 4 button will turn the alarm, which is that symbol, on or off. The minus button, or the, the multiplication button, will turn hourly beep on or off. Hourly beep is that little bell symbol. Turn it on, off. And I'm going to leave this alarm off for now. Anytime you do anything in one of these modes, it doesn't go to the next mode. For example, this would go to dual time now if I press the mode button, but it goes to the home screen. So now you got the home screen again. In order to get to the stopwatch, I got to press this again and scroll through the modes to get to the stopwatch. Stopwatch is your basic stopwatch. Start and stop is here. Lap is here. Uh, in order to stop it, I'll stop it here and now reset. And reset again. And now, the part that everybody was waiting for, the calculator demo. 
Now keep in mind this is not a scientific calculator and so if I do for example 6 minus 5 times 3 I won't get the answer that I want which is 9, negative 9, but instead uh, I'll operate the calculator wrong. 6 minus 5 times 3 uh, will just give us 3. Yes? Okay. And as an accuracy test, let's do 1 divided by 9 times 9. Oh, 1 divided by 9 times 9. If you'll notice, I'm pressing all these with my fingernail. They're pretty small buttons. And, of course, we do not get 1, but instead 0.999999. Uh, which is okay, considering it's, it's, you know, just for calculating tip or whatever. And... It, it's v actually pretty helpful in the classroom just to check basic arithmetic or in the store if you want to check oh you know how many how many bags of chips can I buy with five bucks uh, including taxes which ends up being pretty nasty decimals to do in your head alright and we hit the mode button again to get back to the home screen now let's take a look around the watch itself exactly how it looks so Here's the whole watch. Um, it's it's a pretty standard band, and one gripe I have about it is that even though the watch itself is extremely durable, I've banged this thing against the wall several times, and nary a mark is seen on this watch apart from normal wear and tear. But the band is extremely flimsy, and it actually broke a few days ago. I used duct tape earlier to fix it, but that didn't stick, so I used electrical tape, uh, which is much more flexible and less uh, conspicuous. On the back, we've got Casio 3208. That's the mod model number. If you want to look up the instruction manual on Casio's website, you've got to put in that number, 3208. CA53W, stainless steel back, water resistant. Water resistant means it's resistant to splashes, and you shouldn't take a shower or, or dive or swim with it. Although, if you look on Amazon reviews, um, people have done pretty much anything to this watch and it's been able to handle it. And made in China. One other thing about this watch that uh, could be a deal breaker for many is that there's no backlight. And quite honestly, I think that's what keeps the battery life so high because if I had a backlight, I would be very tempted to use it. And using a backlight it drains the batteries pretty quickly. And so, I think that about rounds it out. This is the Casio CA53W calculator watch, worn by Walter White, Bono of U2. CA50 is worn by Marty McFly in Back to the Future. And this same model is worn by Garth in Wayne's World. So it's been around, it's a piece of American pop culture, and it's a watch that, for $15 on Amazon, you really can't go wrong with. This has been Super V Power, also known as Vikram Shah, in a calculator watch review. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.